everyone. Kitchen storage, your cabinets, most people probably still do store their dishes in an upper cabinet, but that's changing. And when I was designing my kitchen, peg drawers were something that I was introduced to. So it solves different issues for us because I was storing in my other kitchen some dishes in a drawer because my kids could reach them easier and get themselves something. Whereas when they were in an upper cabinet, the stools had to come out and all of that. So when these, when I saw these peg drawers, it was great. It's also closer to my dishwasher, easy to just load right in there, and they hold a large amount of dishes. So they work like this. So when you open the drawer, it looks like any other drawer that has lights in it, and that's from Hayfully. We'll get into that at another time. They work alongside with wood mode. Um, and have cabinet lighting options for the wood mode and the Brookline cabinetry. But let's um, not focus on that right now. There's time enough for that. So when you have a peg draw, what you get is a peg bottom, and it has um, feet on the bottom of it, okay? So you... That's going to fit into the draw, but I'm not going to put it down all the way yet because we have to fix the pegs. So to do that, I'm not going to do it here because it's much harder. I'm going to get my configuration on the countertop right here for what I'll be storing in the draw. Now, some people store the easiest way that I found to do this is to do it when it's on a countertop. That way you can figure out your configuration because you have to take the bottom off the peg and it has to go through the base of the draw into the peg. So it's kind of hard because it fits so nice, nicely into the draw to keep lifting that up and doing it while it's in the draw base. So you're going to want to do that you know, somewhere else. At least figure out your configuration for what you're going to store in the draw. So it comes like this in two pieces. It's a nice hardwood peg here, finished naturally. And so let's take a look at it. So if we're taking a dinner plate, and this is a Fiesta dinner plate, I'm going to want to have pegs to guide it. So like, you know, as close to get it in there as possible. So I'd probably do something, I'm going to do something like that. This gives it enough room to maneuver it in and keep it. Then bowls, similar thing. So these are the, um, the goose bowl. That's what it is. And so, again, I would probably, now if I wanted to maximize my space in here, maybe I would go to the end with these bowls. I'm not planning on keeping the glass, well, I, I have more than one of the peg drawers in my kitchen, not planning on keeping the glassware in there. You'll see some people have their mugs and everything in there. I have to just way too many mugs, and I'm not going to keep that. I have a, I'll show you what I have for that another time. The salad plate, then, you know, maybe you would come over here and do that. We have bowls over here. So these are the, the shallower bowls that we use, and I probably would put those here. And you see, I still have a lot of space. Now, even with one, two, three, four, five, six, I can easily have eight of everything here. Of course, with five kids and a husband, I don't have eight of everything. Some of the stuff is in the dishwasher, and some of these, unfortunately, I have to replace because they broke some. So I'm going to do something like that, but 
I still have a great amount of space that if I wanted to keep some of the kids' cups, and I think I will keep some of the kids' cups there, They're like small cups like this. I can have a section just to keep some of their cups maybe in like a narrow area that would be between, you know, between them I could put like the kids' wheatgrass cups and stuff that I don't mind them taking out and pouring, so that would be a good idea. I have a lot of Fiesta Wear prep bowls, so I'm not sure where I would keep those, but yes, I could do something like that and just keep my glassware above and put some of these in, and I'll show you. Then I'm just going to transfer it with just the pegs, of course, to the drawer, and then I'll come back and show you it in the drawer. Okay, so we've placed everything in on the counter. Now it's going to go into the draw, and hopefully everything will work out perfectly. Now we'll see if the if everything works inside the draw. So the dinner plates are going to go into the back corner. We're right here, right? And we still have plenty of room to even put a row of cups here. If I wanted to put um, the cups here and put those in there like that, and I can have a whole row of them. I have space here. We still have space here. So that's what we have so far, but you see, you do have a lot of room, and the reason these bowls are thickness or whatever, width of um, two bowls, like regular. So that's why I have two, because I have at least six of those, so they'll fit there. But that's how you put together a peg draw, and like I said, I have other pegs and things to put in there. And then, you know, it's really easy for the kids to get what they need. The placement that we put it in, it's easier when we're unloading the dishwasher to put the dishes right in. So that's a wrap and hope you enjoyed it.